One of the best functions inside ACF Pro is the flexible content field. It allows you to create different kinds of templates or groups of meta fields, and then you can use those wherever you want inside any kind of template you create. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about in a really simple example, and then we'll go ahead and create everything. If we take a look at this simple listing for this advertising executive, I can open this up and we've got some normal ACF fields and normal WordPress fields, but we have this Google advertising campaign section, which has three different pieces, a title, a WYSIWYG editor, and a gallery. This is set up using those flexible content fields. Now we could have multiple instances of this inside this one design, or we can create multiple different designs using flexible content and use those wherever we want. We can pick and choose. So we can have multiple different things. For example, we may have testimonials. We may have feedback. Let's take a look at how you actually create it. Now on my demo site, I've already set up some basic ACF information, some templates and so on. I've covered those in their own videos. And if you want to take a look at that, I'll link to those in the description below so you can take a look at how you can do everything I've covered in previous videos. Okay, so this is our standard field group. If we take a look, this is associated with our custom post type of jobs, and we have a couple of fields. Let's go ahead and add a new field. Let's browse our fields, and we're going to choose flexible content. This is a pro-only feature, so bear that in mind. We'll choose flexible content and we'll just call this flexible. We'll select it and we now have our kind of container for all of our different flexible content designs. So now we have our layout and our layout is where we actually create the little template sections that contain the custom meta fields we want to use. This might sound a little confusing, but let me show you how it works. First of all, you can see we've got the label. So for this one, we're going to call this project overview. You'll see if we click inside the name, that'll pre-fill that out for us. We can then choose whether we want this to be a table, a block, or a row. In this example, we'll leave it set to be block. And then inside there, we can choose the fields we want to add. And these will be grouped together under this project overview. So let's go ahead and add in those three fields. Our first field is going to be text. That's perfectly fine. And we'll just call this project title. Again, it'll automatically pre-fill out exactly the same as we've seen in any kind of ACF meta fields. We'll add our second one in. This time, we're going to choose that WYSIWYG editor. We'll call this Project Details. You can set any validation, presentation, any options you want. I'll leave those as they are default. And we'll add our third and final in this example. And we're going to set this to be a gallery. We'll call this Project Gallery. And we'll leave all the values as they are. So there's our basic set of fields all grouped together. So now what we can do is we can add a second one if we want to. So let's say I add another layout. And for this one, we're going to call this Client Feedback. Again, we'll click. And you see that'll pre-fill things out. Again, we've got the layout options. So let's go ahead and add a couple of fields in. Text to the first one. And we'll pop in client name inside there. We'll set this to be a WYSIWYG editor as well. And we'll just say client feedback. And let's just leave it like that. Something really simple. But we now have two of these layouts created. Let's go ahead, save this. And we now have our flexible content set up. We expand it out. You can see everything is inside there, and we've got our project overview and our client feedback. So now we've created the information. Let's hop over to our job section, open up our advertising executive. And now if we scroll down, you'll see there's all the normal fields we've seen previously. And there we have our flexible content demo. Now if we go ahead and click on Add Row, you can see there's our two different custom content fields, our project overview and our client feedback. Let's start off with the project overview. And this will now open up those three fields. Let's go ahead and fill some details out. So there's our project overview all filled out. We can now minimize that, and we can go ahead and add another row in. This time, we'll do client feedback. And there we go. There's our second block of info. We've got the client name and the feedback. So now we've created the flexible content. Let's go ahead and update this. So now we've got some content. The next thing we need to do is actually go ahead and output this using Bricks Builder. So we're going to head back over into Bricks and into our template section. And I've already created a single post template for our jobs. We're going to edit that with Bricks. And this is the template. Let's just tidy things up on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and add in a container for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop in a block. That will probably go in the wrong place, and that's fine. We'll just position that where we want, which is going to be below our post content. And let's just go and rename this. We'll call that our flexible content block. So now we know exactly what this means. Now inside there, we're going to put in the container that's going to contain the templates we're going to use to output that information. So again, let's come back over to our plus. Let's go ahead and add in another block. And this is what we're going to set up to be a loop. So we're going to select it. We'll come over to the use query loop on the left-hand side. Select that from there. Click on the options. 
open up the type and you can see at the bottom we have ACF flexible content and then the name of the flexible content field that we've created. So we'll select that from there. Now if we come into settings and into template settings, into populate content and just make sure that you have the content type is set to single post page in this example. I'm going to change this over and we're going to put this to the advertising executive because that's the one that's got some content in there and we'll say apply preview. Now obviously nothing is going to show up at the moment because we haven't set any template information but this is our kind of placeholder. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and populate this with the pieces of information we need. Now because we've got multiple different kinds of flexible field layouts, two in our example, we need to have a container for each one of those and then we can apply a condition to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back into our elements. We're going to add another block inside that parent block. So we'll just call this flexible loop. And then inside the new block we just inserted, let's give this the name. We'll call that project details block. It's always good to get into the name inside of things because it just makes it easy to see exactly what all of your different layout options actually relate to. Now inside there, we need to go ahead and add in the fields for that project details block. This is really simple. All we need to do is come into our elements. We're going to come into a heading, for example. We'll add that in. We're going to add in a rich text and we're going to add in a gallery. It's just a search for gallery. So there's the three pieces we have that make up the overall layout. So first things first, let's go ahead and change that to dynamic data. So we're going to get rid of where it says I am a heading. Click our little lightning bolt and scroll right the way down to the bottom till we get to our ACF fields. And you can see inside there, there's our project title project details, project gallery, client name, and so on. So these are all the ACF fields that sit inside our flexible content. So there's our first one, our project title. Now you can see that pulls in the relevant data. Come into our rich text, get rid of what's inside there. Click our little lightning bolt, choose ACF, and come down and say project details, project overview. There's our details. And then finally, the image gallery. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our little lightning bolt one more time, scroll right the way down, and we're going to get the option for the project gallery. And there's our images. And now you can style this in whatever way you want. We'll come back to styling in a little bit. But we've got everything basically set up inside there. Let's go ahead now, this first one, and let's just give this a little bit of space and so on so we can kind of separate it out. So first of all, let's change our HTML tag. Let's say this is a section so we know what we're dealing with. And then come into our styling and we're just going to add a little bit of space and things inside here. So we're going to just link all four sides and we'll set two rem for our padding inside there. And we'll just pop in a different background color so you can easily see exactly what's going on. Okay, so there's the first part done. Let's go ahead and save this. Just make sure we've got committed. And now we need to handle the second section. So what we're going to do is the same as we did just now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to add another block inside here. We'll name this. And again, we're going to go and add in our custom fields. So add our elements in, we'll put a heading in, and we'll just put in some rich text again. So again, all we need to do is link this up now to our dynamic data. And there we go. So there's our feedback. And again, we can apply styling. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the style from here, paste the style here, and we now have our basic layout all set up. Now what we need to do is we need to apply some conditions to this for when to show and when to hide it. Now, this is relatively simple and straightforward. You just need to know where to find the relevant info. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our first block, which is our project details. And we're going to come over to the conditions option, open that up and add a condition. We'll select the type of condition. So we're going to just scroll right the way through until we find dynamic data. Then we're going to just click on the little lightning bolt and scroll right to the bottom. And we're going to use the option called ACF get row layout. This is going to check for the existence of our actual content. And then we need to drop in what data we want. Now you can't use the dynamic data because the information we want isn't stored in there. What we need to do is hop back over into our ACF, open up our flexible content field. And inside there, open up first of all our project overview. And you can see there's the name of this particular block. We're going to just copy that, head back over, and we're going to drop that inside the last section. So that's now going to check for dynamic data that content exists inside our project details block. We can now repeat the same process for the second block. So we're going to select it, add a new condition, choose the option for dynamic data, choose the ACF get row layout, and then finally we need the last option, which is going to come back inside here. We'll close our project overview up, open our client feedback, copy the name from there, which is the unique identifier for that field, hop back over and paste that inside there. And we've basically set up the conditions alongside the dynamic data. So now we can go ahead and save this. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at this on the front end. Let's refresh our page. And there's our advertising executive. We scroll down. There's the campaign information, all formatted. There's our gallery. And there's our feedback information. If we come back out of here and go to something like the marketing section and open up a different job where there are no flexible fields included, you'll see nothing actually shows up inside there. However, if we hop back in and go and add some content into that, so we'll come down and we'll just go ahead and add some flexible content in. In this example, we'll just put some client feedback in. We'll update, hop back over to our page and refresh. And you can see there's our feedback all inserted in it. But you'll notice that because we didn't put anything to do with the project in, that is completely and utterly hidden. Now, this is a very, very simple example. But what you can see is that it's not that complicated to start using these fields inside your designs. And you can create whatever kind of template you want to associate with it just by sectioning things up, styling it the way you want, positioning it, using all the built-in options you have as part of Bricks Builder. And then you can create all these different templates and enable and disable them where needed using that conditional logic. It opens up so many possibilities when it comes to working with Bricks and dynamic content with ACF. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback, drop those in the comment section down below. All applicable links to the previous tutorials and anything covered in this video are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.